Ooh. Hey, my babies. It's Miss Leslie, group leader from Youth Guidance Mentoring Academy. Today, we are reading The Adventures of a Plastic Bottle, a story about recycling. Can you think of what recycling is? Do you do it at home? Do you do it at school? This book is by Allison Inches and illustrated by Pete Whitehead. Let's get up closer. January 1st, Dear Diary, do you ever get the feeling that you were meant to do something? Right now, I'm a thick oozing blob of crude oil deep underneath the ocean floor. I've been here for thousands of years. But someday I could be made into fuel like gasoline for cars and jets, or I could even be made into a tar or asphalt to help build roads. I hear something cranking and clattering above. I better go check it out. You see him? January 11th. Dear Diary, I guess that, I guess that noise was, I guess what that noise was. <laughs> January 11th. Dear Diary, guess what that noise was? It was a huge drill. I was sucked through a long wide pipe and into the belly of a giant boat they called a tanker because the inside of the boat is specially designed to carry liquids like a big floating fish tank. The ship sailed for more than one week and when it stopped, I was pumped into an oil refinery. Now I'll be put through machines that will clean me and change me into form that people can use to make lots of things like gasoline, wax, oil, and plastic. I wonder what's going to happen to me next. Diary. What will I become? January 13th. Dear Diary, the oil refinery was amazing. It whirled, it rumbled, it bubbled. I went through a lot of changes. I got so hot that I just disappeared when I turned into a light, misty gas. And just when things cooled down and I felt heavy again, it got hot and the whole thing started over. The change I went through is called polymerization. So it changed his whole body. He was that gunk at the bottom of the ocean floor. And now he's over here. Before I knew it, I had become a pile of plastic crumbs. Can you believe it? Plastic. Some of the other crude oil that I traveled with has turned into paste, some into a thick, clear liquid, and some become a powder. But we have all but we all have one thing in common. We're all ready to be molded into a new shape. P.S. Hey diary, do you know what plastic comes from? The Greek word plastikos? Hmm, it means easy to mold or shape. Ah, highly fascinating. So plastic is a Greek word, who knew? January 29th, dear diary, guess what? I was sent to a manufacturing plant and they heated me until all my little crumbs got nice and squishy. While I was still warm and a machine squeezed me into a mold shaped like a bottle. When I cooled off, I was a beautiful clear plastic bottle for real. Let's see, can we see that? You went all, look at all these changes. I felt so light and sturdy as I tumbled into a bin with lots of other bottles, as many of the 10 million plastic bottles can be made in, in a day. That's a lot of plastic bottles. That's a lot of bottles going out to see the world and never coming back. You see him jumping off, he's saying cowabunga. January 30th, hi ho diary. Today was so fun, being a bottle is great, I was clipped into a bottling line. Wee! I flew down the line and went around and round and up and down. Along the way, I was washed and sterilized. Then I was filled with fresh water. I even got a spiffy label. 
He's giggling because he has a water bottle. Tee -hee -hee. They're pulling all of us bottles into boxes now. I can hardly wait to see the rest of the world. More adventure awaits me. February 13th. Hey, diary. Today I arrived at a grocery store. They loaded me into a refrigerator right in front of, in the front row where I had a great view of everything around me. The store was filled with plastic containers in all shapes and sizes. I wonder where we'll go once we've left the store. Maybe I'll find out soon. Does this look like your grocery store? February 14th. Guess what, diary? A boy bought me at the grocery store and took me to the park bench where he guzzled down the cool water. The sun sparked on the side of my bottle. Birds chirped in the tree above me. There were pretty flowers all around. It was so beautiful that I didn't want it to end. But then something went even, but then something even more wonderful happened. The boy rinsed and filled me with more water put a flower inside me and gave me to his mother. I had become a Valentine's Day present. She put me right in the middle of the dinner table. Nothing can be better than being a plastic bottle. I'm looking good. February 21st, Dear Diary, this week was so great. I wish I, I wish it weren't over. I got to see so many interesting things like the grocery store and the park and I was a great vase. The flower wilted and was put into a mulch pile to become fertilizer. Now I'm in a recycling bin, but I have lots of company, a soda bottle, a peanut butter jar, and an ice cream container. You see them all in there? Where could I be headed next? What could be better than the life of a plastic bottle? February 23rd, Dear Diary, after I was picked up by the recycling truck, I was brought to a recycling center where they sorted all of the different bottles and containers. I landed in a mountain of plastic bottles. Now I know where some of those other plastic containers from the store shelves ended up. Did you know we're all different kinds of plastics? You can tell what kind they are by looking at the number of the recycling sign at the bottom of the container. Hmm. This afternoon, all of the plastic bottles got squished. When they got stacked and then they got stacked in the big blocks called bales and loaded onto trucks. Here I go. See all of them loaded up in there? March 16th, what a busy day. What a busy day, diary. I arrived at the plastic recycling plant where I was made into something brand new. I was sent down a line where I got shredded, washed, rinsed, and dried. I'm not a bottle anymore. They changed his whole body again. Things started to heat up and I pretty soon, things started to heat up and pretty soon I got all soft and mushy and then I oozed through an extruder what this thing is called where I was squeezed into the long thin strands like spaghetti after that I got chopped into small bits I liked being a bottle but I think I'm ready for new adventures you see little spaghetti bits getting all chopped up July 10th hey there diary I never thought I could be happier than I will I was a plastic bottle but I am. Guess what I am now? Did you know all these things were made of plastic, recycled plastic? Pretty wild, huh? There's a milk jug, we got a plastic chair, a little toy car, even a soccer ball. Did you guess, diary? I am synthetic fleece sweatshirt. So with this water bottle got made into a sweatshirt. The light just went off. Can you believe something as soft and warm as synthetic fleece? was made from recycled plastic bottles? I went from crude oil to plastic crumbs to a plastic bottle to a vase and finally a recycled fleece sweatshirt. I am being worn by an astronaut headed to space. There he is. Wow, diary, this journey of mine has been out of this world.
thank you for reading the adventures of a plastic bottle i will see you next time bye